Let's Go Bowling, brought to you by True Value Hardware. For quality selection and personal attention, make True Value Hardware your store of first choice. Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Let's Go Bowling. I'm your host, Jim Klein, and uh, we're here at Canal Lanes today in Southampton. This is the sixth and final week of our Women's Scratch Tournament, and uh, let's meet our bowlers. Uh, Marcel Aiken, our Hall of Famer from Belchertown, is the challenger today, and she'll be going up against Sharon Rawson of Greenfield, and we'll be back with the bowling right after this. Marcel Aiken going to start us off this week. She clips the head pin on the left side, and nope, it's going to stand there. Eight pins. With that first ball. She got the five six to shoot at. That six is still rocking. The five goes out. Marcel qualified with a five eighty eight. And now she goes with a six. And she has a ten box. Marcel has, this is her, uh, I believe this is her 21st appearance on Let's Go Bowling. Life gets half of them. A lot of people, when they get up to, I don't know, 20 appearances, they just say numerous appearances. 20, 20 exactly, it says here. Yeah, Marcel's, yeah, Marcel's been around for a long time. She's been bowling for 40 years. And she rolls right here at Canal Lanes. Three on the left, and the ten remains, so that's a ten and a nine. Just throwing it off. And now, champion Sharon Rawson, who has been very, very hot last week. Well, actually, two weeks ago, she um, tied the high single game with a 140. Then last week, she rolled a 143 in the second game and then a 144 in the third. She had a 400 series. Five in the nine. And she misses them just a little bit to the right. She'll spot Marcel a couple pins here in the first frame. Sharon's been bowling for 10 years. And she's got that head pin and everything else with it. Hit it pretty high, too. Strike in the second. Not for Marcel. And she's on the head pin. Gets seven pins to go. She got the five, eight, ten. She got a couple of pieces of wood in there. She's gonna have to wait for that wood to stop. It's gonna stop right where it can guide her into that five. Gets them. A spare in the third. Pull to the left this time. Our home viewer participants this week are Roger Jellino of South Hadley and Francis St. Jacques of Westfield. Still on the left, Marcel, or uh, Marcel is paired with uh, Roger, and Sharon Rawson is Francis' partner. And uh, so if Marcel wins today, Roger gets a gift certificate to Frameworks in Granby, and if Sharon wins, Francis gets 
gets a gift certificate to Andon's in Springfield. And if you're paired with the losing bowler, you get a free day of bowling. You and three of your buddies. The four horsemen on the left. And oh, it's got them all but the four. And she's going to miss that one. After three frames, Sharon Rawson leads by three pins. This is the fourth. And she's got them all. A strike. And with that, we will take a break. We'll be back with the rest of game one after this. Gets the left side of that head pin and leaves the six. Good ball. Looking to get her second spare. Bingo. And she's right on it. <laughs> she can put that thing where she wants it. Marcel uh, is our uh, assistant scorekeeper. Today, of course, today she's bowling, so we have uh, Fran Drum, who is our statistician, is uh, taking her place today. And the four seven and the ten. A little bit to the left that time. Use that wood to take them all down, and she does. Pretty shot Good by shot. Marcel. two marks in a row, so uh, next time up, Marcel will be rolling for a little bonus money. And now Sharon, working on a strike. Still one more ball. She's gonna have to hit the object, which is the head pin. Just missed it, so. <laughs> a 12-pin lead. And the head pin is still there. Nine box. She's up by four pins now. Marcel with those two spares. And put some pressure on. Four pins go down. Here on the left side. And just, just missed that three and got nothing. Yeah. Now she's going to have to play it safe now. She's going to have to hit the object, which is the uh, three pin. She got cleared out the right side. Left two pins on the left for an eight. Marcel has an opportunity to move back into the lead here. See what she can do with the spare. It's six of them. She has six fill, and we have the uh, diamond or the bucket. She got a piece of wood laying in between. Puts her up by four pins. And she's going to get, no, she didn't. That was her chance for some bonus money that time. Mm -hmm. She's got these. So another ten. There's a couple of tens, a nine, an eight, and three spares in this game. Side of the head pin takes down six. Three and the five, the seven and the nine. Yeah. And her object is a three pin. She wants to spit 
split between a three and a five. She Whoa, did. Oh, she got him. She got him. Another good spare for Marcel. Four spares in this game. Through eight frames. And now Sharon, who has two strikes. Gets them all but the nine and the ten. She got two pieces of wood. One is coming out a little bit too far. She's going to have to play it and hope that she can carry it into the eight and the ten. Oh, yes. Another spare. Now, Sharon, who trails by four, can go back on top. It's seven. And she does. She's up by three. But Marcel has a spare up there in the eighth. Looks like she got the two, five, seven. She got a tough piece of wood there. She's gonna have to try to cap this on the right hand side. Yep. She did right on that cap. Just didn't carry. She'll leave a pen, so that's a nine in the eighth. We have a really close game going here. And we got two of the top bowlers around. Marcel, who is a Hall of Famer, and Sharon Rawson, who is our top woman bowler, hottest bowler this year. Marcel just missed the head pin to the right that time. She's been hitting the head pin a lot. Although mainly to the left, she left herself the four horsemen in the nine. And she'll be able to, ooh. She's gonna get it. Got him. I thought she was way too far left that time. Yeah, she did. Just caught the uh, head pin, just, just a little bit. there in the ninth and out of the tenth she is too far to the left this time misses the hit pin and gets five pins to fall got three pieces of wood in there Still up there, that's a nine in the final frame, and Marcel finishes with a 123, which is above her average of 108. It's above Sharon's average of 116, but uh, Sharon has been bowling. Whoa, there she goes. Strike in the ninth. Sharon Ross. She's over on her uh, strike lane now. Let's see if she can double it up. We're going to have a good finish here. Yeah. Pulled that one to the left. They're still falling. I think that's the end of it. The seven pins. The 135. And gets the five. Just gets one here, which is what she does. We are dead even at the end of the Biggest first game. Ever. Both bowlers with 123s up there, and we'll be back. She's up against some stiff competition this afternoon in Marcel Lake, and here's some interesting stats. Um, Sharon's high single game is a 184. Nice shot. She has a spare there to start her off. 184 high single game. Marcel has a 186. Sharon's high series is 423, and Marcel's is a 426. So um, they're right up there with each other. There is a there is an age difference here. I won't go into that. <laughs> we got the 610 standing here with a piece of wood in between. And our object is a six pin. 
on that one. Uh, we're going to start off with a couple of spares. Take a spare and a 10. And now Marcel. As I mentioned, she's been bowling for 40 years. Sharon's been bowling for a decade. And just to the right of the head pin, once again. By the way, uh, if you would like to get in on our home viewer participation uh, contest, drop us a postcard with your name and address to Let's Go Bowling, WGGV TV, Box 40, Springfield, Mass, 0102. She's going to clip it no. We'll take an eight. And uh, we'll pair, if we draw your name out, we'll pair one home viewer with um, the challenger, one with the current champ. And there are some prizes involved. So get your name in the hat, and you can just kind of pick somebody to cheer for back there. Now the four horsemen left, and the nine. Got that head pin, that'll drive the nine out of there. Four and the seven. Still in, so this for her 10. And she should have, it. she does. So down by 10 pins here in the early going in game two. Last game, the lead changed hands several times. Wow. Oh, that was a lob on that one, man. What a shame. What a shame. It was a lob call by Jim Mahalik. It's too bad Sharon lost the strike on that. <laughs> so she only got two balls to roll now. Oh, she can... That's uh, a nice spare. Yeah. Realizing that could have been a double. Yes, well, it could have been worse. She could have been working on a spare. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, she, kept she feels with nine pins. She's going to keep the ball on the alley. She has it. Oh. Oh, Sharon is, is warming up. I think she's warmed up. So we'll have some new champions. Come back. Who is looking for her first mark in this game? Misses the head pin this time to the left. And gets four four pins to go down. She's left oh. again, right through the gap. <laughs> she knew as soon as she let go of the ball. She should come out here with a good a good out. Oh, she's gonna have to take well, she'll get an eight. However, she now trails by 21 pins in this game. Needs a mark. Just to keep it there. Get the head pin this time. And, uh, this will be, a, be a tough one to mark. Yeah, yeah three, seven, ten. She's got a piece of wood in front of the three. Looks like she's going to have to hit this on the heavy side. Right at the strike. Takes out the right side. That leaves the seven. For her two, she doesn't get it. So we'll put a nine up there for Marcel in the fourth. 
and check the scoreboard. We'll be back with the rest of game two after this. Sharon Rawson has established a lead here in the second game and oop, leave the 10. Well, she just she just keeps throwing harder and harder. What she's got to do is hit this on a red band. She's got to wait for that piece of wood that's behind there. Still moving around. Now she's all set. And she's got it. So that's three marks in a row for Sharon. A little $25 bonus money. We'll see if she can add to that. She's got a good opportunity. The four and the eight remain. It's a good fill. And she's got them, so that's $50. Sharon is on a roll here in game two, and uh, through six frames, she has five spares up there. Five spares and a 10. Yeah. Yeah. Marcel knows she's gonna have to start marking, because Sharon stays hot, she can take a tremendous lead. And she's gonna have to mark just to kind of stay within close range. She has to mark just to keep up. Yes. Um, Nope, that's, that's not it. Pulled that ball a little bit to the left. And this is going to be more on it. Well, if it could have been the last one. Marcel still looking for her first mark here in game two. A couple of tens, a nine, and a couple of eights up there. She's about 39 behind. slowly six of them fall but the remaining four are scattered across the lane she's gonna have to hit the two pieces of wood right in the triangle mm -hmm. that didn't do it Pretty 10. So it's another 10 box, but uh, it will not keep pace with Sharon Rawson, who has four spares in a row now. As to fill, uh, not real good. Four pin. So she's at 98 now through six frames. It's 40. 43 pin advantage. There's two more. And she goes to the left side, gets one, and she plops a seven up there. So the streak ends. pins. Our winner out here gets a $200 check. Loser goes home with $100. Marks in a row. Well, you get $25 for the first three and $25 for each one after that. A 375 series is worth another $50 and uh, three strikes in a row is, is $100. Sharon had almost had two in a row a while ago. We're at not for the lob line rule. Huh? Triangle left there for Marcel now. Yep. The 
245. And she's, she's got, got him. And that's her first mark here in the second game. She's long overdue. Make up a little ground now. And four horsemen left. Just takes out the four. So the one, two, seven. Still up there for her ten box. And she couldn't have it. Nope, misses a seven. That was a good out. She takes a nine, loses another pen. Down by 35. And Sharon has still another opportunity to better the high single game. Gets seven to fall. It's a triangle. He's 30 pins shy. The breaking last week's record. And she's got her 10. She needs a mark. Tough spare. Yeah, and she's going to have to uh, play this on the left side or the two pin. Very lightly. Not quite. She went for it. And Sharon Rawson. Nope, doesn't quite get it there. We'll finish with a 134. That's a good game. how many pens Marcel will spot her going into game three. She's on the head pin this time, a little to the left, gets eight of them to fall, three and the five, still there. Now for the spare, she's got it. Her second spare of the game. Sharon had five, four of them in a row. This to fill and not a very good one either. Just three pins. She needs seven here just to hit the century mark. That's two. Try. Mm. This has not have been a real good game for Marcel. Uh, she's on the left side and just one pin, so she doesn't even make a hundred this time. She's with a 99. She is spotting Sharon 35 pins going into game three, and we'll be back with that game after this. Marcel Aiken trails by 35 pins. And that can be made up because that's exactly what Sharon made up in the last game. She went ahead by 35. And don't count Marcel but, uh, out. She can still pull this through. She can, yeah, but Sharon is so hot right now, it's a, it's a tough person to come back on. We'll see what happens here. I'm sure she's been here before. 
for the wood to stop rolling. <clears throat> it's right where it can guide her in. Although she can be a little high too. She's gonna play it off the nice wood shot. and she gets them both. Good shot, real good shot. So that's a 10 in the first box. Well, Marcel knows where to place the ball. It's just a matter of getting it there. And that and she needs to get the marks here in this game. Left side again leaves the four horsemen on the right side. And she gets them all. So a 10 and a spare to start the third game. And now Sharon Rawson. Uh, Rick, why don't you tell us about that tournament one more time? Sure, we got our Western New England Canopins uh, Association's 43rd Annual Tournament that's underway. And today starts the uh, men's singles uh, held at Downtown Lanes. And the, uh, we have the women's singles and doubles that are starting today at the Aguam Bowl. And signing up for registrations for the men's doubles starting March 4th will be here at Canal Lanes. Not a real good start for Sharon. She gets six pins. She has a nice pad, but certainly can't afford to let out too much. Shoot. Another tough one. And she's at 257 after two games, so she can win some more bonus money by breaking uh, or hitting 375 on her series. That's, that's not that far off. And it takes a nine. And only need a 118. 375 this week. Last week she had 400 plus. And to the right this time, six pins. Now she cuts cut into the lead. She's only 24 down. Oh, she needed that. Nope. So the eight remains. Wood just couldn't quite take her down. And it does that time. Marcel erased 11 pins in the first two frames. As Sharon got off to a rough start. Again, she misses that hit. Again. One, three, seven, ten. She's gonna have to split the one, three.
not letting up. Okay, Sharon, come on. In, she's off the mark. And just takes out three pins. Not a good feel. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad, so. I know she didn't take advantage of that first spare. She comes back with another. So she's making up pins on Marcel in this game. That one got the head pin, took out six of them. Looks like the three, five, nine, ten. She's gonna have to play the object, which is a three. She, did, oh, she, she missed it. it. <laughs> and the three, ten remain. Tens a spare and a nine in the first five frames for Marcel. Nice ball. And she gets them all there. So her second mark of the third game. That'll help the cause. We'll see what Sharon can do to compete. Working on a spare, that's six of them. And that puts her back to within a pin here in the third game. Oh, just missed it completely. 34 pin over the ma whole entire match. And just won that time. So a seven, and she loses three more pins here in the fifth. She's down by four. But leads overall by 31. Four, eight. You got the six, eight here, Jim. She got, or the six egg, yeah. Yeah, she got a few pieces of wood. I would say she'd be elected uh, to go for the uh, dead wood. She did, yeah. You just never know. <laughs> this will take the eight. Okay. So a nine and a six. She's lost a few more pins, but not a great deal. That 35 pin advantage is holding up rather well. Still several frames to go. Marcel gets eight of them there. This for a spare, which would look nicely on that board. She could have it. Yes. She does. Yes. So that takes 15 pins. Off the 35 pin advantage, it's now down to 20. And Marcel has a spare. She's going to fill with a seven. She has a good game going. Looks like the two, four, or eight. She got about three pieces of wood there. She's gonna have to be very careful. Hit it high. She and did. And it's gonna down. go. Yes, she goes. <laughs> it was, That's it, three in a row. A little bonus money. And uh, that's putting some pressure on uh, Sharon. She, she needs a couple good balls here. That one's down the middle, but leaves a 7-10. And some wood. She 
just gonna have to play this deadwood on the right hand side. Just gonna have to hit this right on a red band. Good try. And I thought that ball, it even looks there as though it's gonna carry him off and take out the 10, and this one goes into the gunner, so the nine in this game is getting closer. She's only got about 12 pin lead here. Now she's opposite of spare. Sharon is not marked since the fourth frame. She will probably mark here, but however that would. Uh, she got a roadblock there. It's gonna be tough. She's gonna have to hit it right on her cap on the right hand side. That's her only shot. Anywhere's on the left side, I pin, she's gonna go around it. Oh, oh that came, that came. <laughs> yeah. Gotta have a little luck. She made fair contact with that piece of wood. Anything that happens after that is considered good. So she gets a spare. Now she needed that one. We have an interesting game now, though, and Marcel. 5-7. Just to remind you, Jim, next week we got the men coming back. Our defending champion, Jeff Atkins. And our challenger next week uh, against Jeff will be Jim Orlandi. It's been about, what, three months since we had Jim on the show? He was... Yeah. Oh, Good try by Marcel. Almost. And that could have been four in a row. She will settle for a 10 box. And I'll move her to 120. So dead would move that head pin off the spot about a couple inches. So she's gonna have to go right at it. Drive it back into the eight pin. It looks good. Yes. yes. It's got him. So a spare in the tenth. And Marcel gets one more ball to fill. This will be her best game of the match. Hey, look at this. <laughs> now we have a little some, machine difficulty. Uh, yeah. Here's some, bin, some pins held up back there. She got a 130 plus one ball. Depends on Sharon's fill what the outcome is going to be. Marcel needs a, a, a good count here. a good one. That's a 139 she's going to finish with. So uh, Sharon needs to break the century mark by what, five pins? A 105 will win it? There's six. Two, five, seven, eight. She needs a 105. Spare. Well, she needs a good fill. That will put her very close. Yeah. That's 
going to do it. Dang, that, that will do her right there. And some bonus money on top of it. <laughs> Three in a row. Well, she's uh, big on the finish. Like I said, she's our hottest bowler, Jim. She's tough to beat. Another big finish for Sharon Rawson and a nice series. Check the score. She has the 375, so that's more bonus money. She wins by 20 pins, and we'll be back with the trophy presentation in the Jackpot Bowl right after this. Well, there's $125 in the jackpot this week to convert the 6-7, and Sharon is going to be just too much to the right, and now Marcel will take a shot at it. And she's going into the gutter. <laughs> That's okay. Marcel, get over here. <laughs> That wasn't a good shot no, at all. No, it wasn't a good shot at all. <laughs> yeah, you had a 139 in that final game. That was a great comeback. You almost took the high single game out of her. I tried. <laughs> well, here's your check. Uh, and you had the three marks in a row today for a little bonus money, and we enjoyed having you on the show. It was Thanks a good match much, today. Jim. Thank you. Sharon, uh, gee, she uh, she was coming back on you in that last game. Yeah, it was a tough match. She bowled really well. well it was I a was great nervous. one. Today. You Very had the nervous. big finish again, and you're getting famous for that. Thank God for the big finish. That, you had seven marks in a row. You also hit 375 once again, so you have a check for three, three and a quarter there, and uh, another uh, plaque for your wall somewhere. <laughs> and uh, we enjoyed having you on the show. Thank you. I enjoyed being here. Okay, we'll see you later, and uh, we'll see you next week on another edition of Let's Go Bowling. An escaped convict enters Judge Franklin's courtroom pretending to be an attorney. Don't miss the exciting courtroom drama on The Judge, Monday at 4 p.m. on The Spirit of the Bay State, WGGB-TV 40.